Welcome to lecture number three in the first IHF Children's Handball Symposium. My name is Courtney Gayen and I will be your moderator today. Today we have three translation languages available, French, Spanish and Arabic. These are available only if you are joining us on Zoom and you can find them at the bottom of your screen by clicking the globe icon marked interpretation. If you're watching on Facebook right now, one of my colleagues is going to share the link to the Zoom in the comments. So you can join us here on Zoom if you have a Zoom account. This first IHF Children's Handball Symposium forms part of the virtual academy introduced by the IHF last year to enable global online learning and licensing. All of this falls under the umbrella of the IHF Education Centre available at ihfeducation.ihf.info. This first IHF Children's Handball Symposium comprises a total of eight lectures presented by top children's handball experts from around the world. As I mentioned, today is lecture number three and today we are focusing on building the foundation through handball with a presentation by Dr. Pablo Grico. This session is being recorded, so you will be able to access it later for on-demand viewing on the Education Centre, as well as on the IHF Facebook page. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the lecture and we will have a short question and answer session at the end. So that brings me to the end of my introduction and Pablo, we are ready to begin when you are. Okay, hello, Courtney. Thank you. I shared screen. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Hello, humble friends. It's a pleasure to be here with you, sharing a moment of mutual learning. Before we start, I would like to thank to President von IHIF, International Humble Federation, Dr. Hassan, and my partner Dietrich Peter for the opportunity. I also thank Dr. Ilona Hapkova, chairwoman of the Handball at School, for the truth placed on my work and the support in organizing this presentation, and also to all college from the Handball at School group. English is not my mother language, and I have a hard time speaking. So I thank the team of translator and apologize in advance for my English. I hope the imagine are good enough for you to understand what is proposed. So let's start. Play to learn and learn by playing in the light of improved coordination. What is this? Our agenda in the introduction, we are going to describe concepts about coordination. Then we will try to briefly understand what coordination is and then why coordination is so important. We will also think, talk about how we can train coordination and a briefly conclusion. So what is a skillful handball player? It's a player that can, in a simple way, do very well the simple things. He thinks fast and smart and also execute action in a fast and precisely way. But here, it's important to comment that execute very well and easy think can be hard, very hard. Children, between six and 10 years old, like to play. When a child play, he is learning without realizing. This in the sport science is called incidental, incidental learning. They learn when they play and they learn by doing. The teacher has to present challenge, some easy, some hard. He must find balance. 
So it's a question, how is that more than 500 muscles of the human body, which are attached to around 200 bones, cause movement in more than 100 joints, and in which around 100 million neuro neurons of the central nervous system relate to make a movement, make an exercise, a tool, a pass. To answer that, we are going to talk about coordination. There are many definitions about coordination. This concept varies but I, in, the dire, in the level of amplitude and generality. On that, I really like it, this one. Coordination is the basis for a wide range of movements. Motor coordination is a human competence to perform movements where the simplest or complex quickly and precisely in different environmental conditions and under adverse contextual pressure. It is based on the interaction of a set of skills with and without ball. Coordination constitutes the basis of the construct called intelligence, motor intelligence. Coordination is also request in the situation where we have an unstable body balance. In the video, we see an exercise that presents coordination with balance. This is a challenge to, that motivates kids and develop skills for playing handball. Here, the balance is an unstable surface. It is important to change, when possible, the type of ball, the position that each one is in this little train, and the distance between the hula hoops. We cannot talk about learning or neglect the brain mechanisms responsible for the act to save, recover, and association information with resulting learning. Remember, learning is a nonlinear process, which means that coaching methodologies in sport should be adaptive. We must offer from the game learning situations. The player learn from different paths. That's why we have to remember the not linearity of the process, offering many exercise and playing situation. In each training, games and activity must be didactically, didactically constructed to enable a pleasant and fun learning without the child perceiving a duty to learn. Jumping a rope with a partner is a good challenge. What about not passing a ball? Here, we need to distribute attention between the rope, the ball, and the partner. Usually, the rope is automatically regulated and the attention is shared by the ball and the partner. The rope is just integrate itself in this end. Usually, children can also come to this when they are between eight to 10 years. The challenge for you and your player is to do this with two balls. What do you mean? <laughs> Our brain is considered of the source of registration and interaction and integration, I'm sorry, and integration of knowledge that allows the individual to act in the world and to become aware of it. In sport, there is an interaction between cognitive functions with, when we apply the technical tactical resource. The brain is the place where we coordinate the cognition and the action. Our brain is prepared in interaction with the environment to react stimulus and for a new synapses that translate into knowledge. The adaptation of subjects depend on the dynamic of the interaction process. It depends on the teaching learning process and also on the way we teacher conducts the classes and which method he uses. The teaching learning training of the coordination establishes new level for participation in the game. 
based on the improvement and perceptual motor development. The video show how important it is to play. In the video, see how important is the coordination, the ability of the player to this hard movement. An important aspect in the children learning process is to have balls with suitable size for the hand so they can perform a technique like in the video. What means coordination and what we coordinate in handball? During an action, we coordinate time, space and energy or information between our body, the players or the other players with others and the ball. Coordination is much, much more than just knowing how to do. Coordination must have an interaction between person, tax, and environment. And these three should be integrated in order to perform an action with a cognitive perceptual and a motor perceptual interaction. In fact, what you have in spot is a cognitive action, and it is not always conscious. So, Let's now hear what our ambassador has to say. Wait a minute. Yes. Sir. You are. Oi, sou Alexandra Nascimento, ponta direita da seleção brasileira de handball. Meu primeiro contato com o handball foi com 10 anos de idade, numa escola pública, onde o professor Lidmar me viu fazendo uma atividade, brincando com as minhas amigas, e resolveu me chamar para praticar o handball. Antes, eu já tinha praticado remo, vôlei, futebol e basquete, mas não gostei de nenhuma dessas atividades, não me senti identificada. E quando eu comecei, junto com as minhas amigas, treinar na escola, foi paixão à primeira vista. Nunca mais vai ver handball. Para mim, o que me chamou a atenção no handball foi essa questão de ter que correr rápido, ter que defender, ter que fazer o gol. Encontrei o handball um esporte muito dinâmico. E claro, aí também tinha as minhas amizades, então onde eu podia ficar com as minhas amigas e também estar tá compartilhando com elas no mesmo momento jogando handball. O handball eu acho um esporte interessante para as crianças, porque você pode trabalhar a parte motora, as crianças aí podem também estar tá melhorando é, a sua amizade e é um esporte maravilhoso. Why is coordination so important in sport? Training coordination with children, but not only in this age range, allows to the development of personality, the improvement of motor perceptual, the game of reliability on its potential, and to accept and be motivated by challenge and dynamic activities that leads the person to like handball. To train coordination is important to select different ways to perform movements. That's why it's crucial for use different elements in the class, like ball, stick, rope, balance. These bring joy and pleasure to the class. We need to remember the parameter requested to realize a coordination action. In handball, when the child play, let's remember that the most coordination, his body, the orders, and the ball. How does a player a coordinate this section? Complicated. Very complicated, this one. There are two systems that are requested simultaneously to realize a coordinated action. The first one is afferent pathways which means the visual, acoustic, synesthetic, balance, balance systems. The second is the afferent pathways, which is related to elements called pressure, constraint, and affordance. 
They are present in the environment, in the situation that the player face, which are six. Time, sequence, load, precision, variability, simultaneity. That is a hard word for me, simultaneity. Well, when we have to do the action, the environment can set pressure. This can occur alone or simultaneously. For example, in a game, when the back player assists the, the pivot, they can the time they can by time pressure because the defense can close the space. There can also be precision pressure because the ball must arrive with quality to the other players. The situation may request a find and so on. The pressure parameter, time, precision, sequence, simultaneity, variability, and load, they have more definition. For example, time is to minimize time or maximize execution speeds. Sequence, so sequence of successive requirement and order, and order, and order, and after an order. How train coordination? In this activity, we work dribbling in balance request situation and with precision, precision pressure. It is important in this type of activity to change the ball so we have different bounces, weight, and sides. We must also avoid long key three or four children waiting and be able to perform some activity. For example, balancing the ball on your finger and so on. It's not easy. And well, well, what? Okay, they can. How to train coordination? It is very important with children to train coordination with exercise and games. The exercise must become a game and they must be an exercise in order to train pressure parameter. Which games? We can rescue popular culture games, simple games, that can be modified with the inclusion of different elements to weigh carrying out the action. It is important to create activities to provoke fun, challenge, diversity, difficult. The name of this game in Portuguese, Amare Linha. How is the name in your language? Do you play it? Daniel Nehmann, a colleague from Spot University in German, proposed a the tactical creativity approach, a model with seven methodological principles for development creativity. For example, one dimension games, diversification, deliberate memory, deliberate coaching, deliberate motivation, and deliberate play and deliberate places. And we included development of coordination as the eighth principle in this way. When analyzing both action, the question arises, what is the formula for training coordination? Based on road, we developed the following formula. To train coordination, we can play with exercise or games that require fundamental skills, so running, jumping, throwing, and put it in this activity, if possible, the six pressure elements, time, precision, sequence, and so on. Think that the same activity can be performed with the hand, foot, and racket. Stick, the body, the action, and the muscle request. With this, instead of having only three forms for of execution, hand, foot, and racket. We have six pressure being used, what result in 18 variation to practice coordination. Also, if you added a, variant, a variation of the visual perception and balance, we will have 36 options in the same activity for coordination. The more experience, the better. In this video, developed by Klaus Feldman, our colleague, 
two player work with a three ball pass. It is important to understand that here there are different demands, time pressure, sequence, and simultaneity. To make it difficult, you can add it a third component for the players. For example, more cognitive pressure. You can ask them, how much is 20 times three? How much is this? Please, do you answer me? How much is five, five times two? Training with pressure. In this variation, in this variation, we have request of the balance systems, the passing the ball with the lateral movement. We can add it, for example, objects on the floor to make the bounce pass. In other words, added precision. Slowly, they they cannot. Yes, okay. Coordination activities with in included surface not only set a difficult imbalance, but also in the control of the ball. In this situation, we have to modify the love with kicking the ball and walking up and down. Also, in this case of dribbling, the skill of organizing angles and controlling the force are developed. In the formal, we consider it that the handball player must learn how to coordinate with others. Here, in addition to this tax, the activity asked for the distribution of attention, balancing the well on the stick together with the partner. Also, passing the ball around the foot requests the dissociation of muscle segments. We always start with activities that are simple, easy, and that require the response to different perceptual mortal pressures. In this video, we see children aged five to six sliding in the Swedish bank. One way to organize the activity is to place the work in different station. Do you see in build? So, wow. <laughs> An observation that practice tell us, with children up to eight years age, it's recommended to work with one element. Children age eight, 10 years, two elements. With children age 10, 12 years, three elements. The work of balancing no? and performing motor action with sequence and precision pressure using different balls with different movements should begin at an early stage. Here, a seven years old child. The challenge was well solved and the practice will make the, miss the manager to complete the entire course without falling on with precision. In handball, one of the most tricking pressure is the time pressure to carry out the action. Often the player needs time to seek the best decision, in which case the motor performance will have more time pressure. Activities with the, this pressure element should be incorporated into the training in a systematic way. No doubt, you are wondering how to organize your clubs. And we have several aspects to consider. Training coordination is much more than presenting exercise. It requires organization and systematic. Therefore, the recommendation is to imagine that you are a DG and that you have in front of you a power equalizer with which you control the sound, bass, spade, and so on. 
In the same way, to train coordination, you can put one exercise with high time pressure and reduce the vision, for example, by using blind fold. Or you can request more balance and reduce pressure for precision. It is important to mention that it's not necessary to train all the pressure elements in the same section. You can divide the pressure elements in different sections. Coordination with others. Handball, it's a team game, and so the collaboration between its partners is essential. This is also done through coordination training. In the exercise, you watch player must bounce the ball, change the element in the hand, and then pass the ball with hitting the center of the hula hop placed between them. You must observe the timing of the pass so that the two balls do not shock. It looks easy. Let's try and see if the student have fun will doing it. A coordination training class with the offensive technical tactical means of handball. This is a circuit work proposed by Juliana Pacheco from Brazil. It presents different actions and in different stations in which children aged 10 to 12 years carry out different activities in these circuits. They are different pressure that must be overcome. It is important to highlight that handball is a sport that wins those who score goals. So activity with lunch and with goalkeeper should be offered as many times as possible. At this age, it's good to, that all students try to be goalkeepers. I recommend a recommendation for those who want to work the coordination in a systematic way. Use different elements and auxiliary materials like balance, stick, rope, hula hoop, combination this. Make the most that each material offer. For example, the stick, we can throw balance, bounce, transport roll, but we cannot pass or recite. We cannot bounce the stick. This we can do with a ball or a balloon. Here we have a coordination, a combination of carrying that ball with dribble, ball and bat. What do you think? Can children at your school do it? Let's propose Do not think about age, but just take as a reference the level of difficulty and see if they can do it. Later, later might bring more pressure to the activity. An activity can easy for some, but difficult for others. The important thing is to propose the challenge, stimulate of self performance. Changing bells or working the same activity with two different bouncing balls is a suggested variation. A way to improve the control of strength in the performance of dribbling with the dissociation of muscle segment. Shall we try it? Something we have workplace that offer usage option for using different materials. So you do not limit, limit for your imagination. Do not limit the development of coordination with children to just the ball. Use your creativity.
skipping rope is an activity that children from the old days, like me, for example, used to know, used to do on the street. Today we can do it at school with children bounce and bounce the ball, jump and pass the ball to the partner of a rope. The two partners, which leads to skipping, with to spinning, I'm sorry, when skipping the rope. Many variations of they manage to advance. The task in the same we offer a child no problem. What pressure will be put here to make more difficult? Time more bounce on each jump. Sequence pass with partner inside the rope. Your imagination to develop activities. So with this. Tour. No one. Tour. Very well, Alexandra. Coordination should be practiced in all age and in all levels of performance. So, whoops, do you get it? So we come to our conclusion. Coordination training is important, not only at early age, but also for adult players too. It can be applied with exercise or games. The important thing is that it provides challenge that the participant like to do it, that bring joy in the training. In sport initiation with children, it is suggest that coordination training be carried out after bounce up games as a second content in this section. Don't it at the beginning of the class allows you to focus attention and ensure that executive function and cognitive processes are not tired. With teenagers and adults, it can be performed at different time of training and have different functions warm up, improve it coordination, after strength training, pre prior to technical training or tactical and so on. It is recommended that in every training session, approximately 15 minutes can be devoted to coordination training with exercise and with coordinating games. Tip, from exercise to exercise in the form of the game, we wish good training, a lot of creativity to develop activities, and this bring a lot of joy in the training sections. To finish, I thank you all for the attention, and I apologize for my pronunciation errors in English. I hope you, will, you could understand what I mean, and I have any question, feel free to ask. I wish you a lot of success in your practice. Hey, thank you so much, Pablo. So we have a couple of questions and I expect oh, oh. some more will come. Uh, so let's start with, well, somebody asked um, about some specific coordination exercises for children between seven and 12 years old. So I think it is very important to vary the exercise with two more elements 
with dribbling, pass, bouncing, and so on. To more uh, activities to, to do you have, it is better to coordination. Well, I hope it is a very interesting uh, material to train coordination. Okay. Somebody asked, <clears throat> Why do you say that children under eight years old should focus on one element? It is um, experience from too, too many years to train coordination. I think it is a progressive methodology, methodology to, to want uh, one thing in one moment. I, I'm, I think it is very important a progressive sequence from uh, difficulties by exercise. We prove first with one element and we make to make all what this element uh, offer, offers. And then we try to combine with two elements and we try to combine with two elements and make two more variabilities as possible with two elements and so on. Uh, somebody asked how many times in one week should you train coordination for children? Well, I think you train coordination in all sessions. Do you have? When you have three sessions in the week, it's good when you have Five season in the grid is better, but in all season, yeah? When I think 10, 15 minutes, it's enough to train coordination in one season. Okay. Somebody else asked, do you think- in Spanish that... asked this, this somewhere, uh, they, they ask in Spanish? No, oh. the, the questions oh. come in the chat and question and answer. Oh. Um, so oh. I am correcting them. <laughs> um, somebody asked, do you think that coordination is neglected in early handball teaching? Yes, of course. Yes, I am sure. And this is, um, this is an error in our preparation from, from the player. It's a mistake. And they, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Well, they want to know why you think that happened. Why has coordination been overlooked? Well, we, we have um, many times we have, um, we have the interesting to, to go direct to ability and technical uh, um, elements. Maybe uh, the pass with the correct position and so on. And we don't think this is only possible when we coordinate the idea with the muscle. No? Okay. Uh, there's still a few more questions. Uh, do you think coordination is more important to work with in children than adults or should adults also work on this? I think with all, with all. Uh, in the training from uh, from um, player within the uh, high level, it's too important. We, we see the, uh, the player in the, the wing, they make a drea. No? It is not easy. We need coordination in all stage. Uh, we'll do just two more, I think. Um, in a training session, when would you do coordination exercises? Right after warm up or as part of warm up? Both? I think it in the second place. I think it is very important in my training. First, a play, a game. Uh, by the beginning training, play, 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 play. And in the second time, 
a coordination uh, session and then our hope uh, functioning training. I don't know what is the, the tema in this session, yeah, but it is the very the, the one play and one game and coordination and then then the other uh, tile from tile from training. So I'm just checking the questions that are coming and seeing which ones to ask. Um, during training, can you do exercises that combine coordination and technical skills or these should be separate? Yeah, yes, yes, this is a good idea. Do you combine technical uh, activities with coordination training or with tactical? Uh, maybe, for example, tactical things, you can coordination, maybe time pressure or precision pre uh, pressure in this tactical action. This is very good uh, idea. Uh, somebody asked, sorry, I lost this question. Uh, why do you do some of these exercises with a different ball, not a handball? Yeah, it, it is uh, very important to vary, vary the quality from elements. They have uh, uh, another bone set, another uh, stick, another time to to realize uh, uh, the action yeah uh, well uh, maybe a basketball no yeah? come maybe uh, tennis yeah do, do you have more possibilities to work in the coordination from idea to muscle and the time space and energy or information that outcome to you uh, on, on the action to, to realize the action. Okay, let's just do one more. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, how do you, how long would you recommend a training for an eight year old? One session, how long? And is time different for different age groups, how long you would train for? Yes, coordination training, I think when you have three sessions in the week, it is very interesting, 10 bis, maximum 15 minutes, not more. It is enough, but in, uh, systematically and organized, yeah? This is very important. It's okay. not, not coming in training and well, make this, make this, make this, make this, make this, and they have no order, they have no uh, objective in this activity. They have no sequence from uh, pressure elements and so on. It is very dangerous to, to make in this way. Okay, I think we have asked many questions of Dr. Greco, so we can end there. Thank you so much for this informative lecture today. Yeah, I thank you all for your effort. And we, I say, yeah, uh, I hope you could understand what I mean. <laughs> and I apologize for my pronunciation errors. Okay, thank you very much. And I wish you a lot of success in your practice. Thank you. So everybody, that brings us to the end of lecture number three in the first IHF Children's Handball Symposium. We are going to be back on Friday again at 2 p.m. Central European Summer Time with the lecture Handball as an Interactive Sport presented by Dr. Gerard La Sierra. So we will see you on Friday. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Pablo Greco. See you. Goodbye, Bye -bye. everybody.